Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. In this video, I'm going to take a look at Budget Face Hunter for March of the Lich King expansion. And well, first of all, sadly, March of the Lich King expansion does not give any new cards for Face Hunter, especially on a budget, so you can't add anything new into the deck. However, it is always possible to tech the deck for the current meta, and in this case I have made one change compared to the list that I played throughout Castle Natria as a budget face hunter. And during Castle Natria, collateral damage was an important piece of the deck, because lethality was quite low, there were a bunch of Renatal decks, they would still play minions, so collateral damage would just allow you to win games that would go a little bit long. However, now in March of the Lich King, lethality is higher, games are shorter, 8 mana spell, you just don't do anything with an 8 mana spell. So I have replaced collateral damage spells with piercing shots. Fishing shot making on comeback to the deck, deal 6 damage to a minion, excess damage hits the enemy hero. And this together with Twin Bow Terror Coil obviously, it's going to piercing shot the minion twice, so that still has some quite decent damage potential. As long as you can find a minion to shoot anyway, because the number of minions is a little bit lower right now. Other than that, this is still the face hunter as it has been for the past few expansions. So you're trying to get some one drops on the board, you're trying to get some buffs on those one drops, then you're trying to use your board to deal a bunch of damage, and then you have some direct damage to finish things off alongside your hero power, of course. But overall, it's not just about going face, but for the first few turns you're also still fighting for the board, and then you transition into face plan a little bit later. The deck has a number of good synergies. For example, Mercury Scribe Naga Sprite is one of my favorites. Mercury Scribe, Battle Cry, next spell you play costs one less. Naga Sprite, Dream and a Spell, summon 2 2 2 Lionfishes. If you play Naga while holding this, give them plus one plus one, so then they will be three three minions. And if you're on the coin, for example, you can coin Mercury Scribe and then you can play Naga Sprite on two, and that's a pretty big swing. Obviously, seeing what the rogues can do sometimes nowadays with those in stone graveyards, getting some three three minions on turn two isn't actually that impressive, I suppose. Sometimes you also had the opportunity to do terror coil into that Naga Sprite, so then you will get four of those minions. Another sweet synergy, K9 Neutron Click Locker. If you happen to have both in your opening hand, Click Locker buffs the K9 Neutron because it's also a mech, and then obviously that dredge ability, fetching some of those one drops from your deck. So these cards, they can give Face Hunter reliably a solid board in the early game, and then it's just a matter of is that board going to be enough to get things done. As for the mulligans with this deck, we're looking for your one drops, your click locker, your iron deep truck, your vicious slither spear, and you're looking for your doggy biscuit. Typically so that one drop into doggy biscuit is the ideal opener. Obviously if you have that scribe naga sprite, if you have both of them in your hand, okay, that's pretty interesting. Sometimes if you have like K9 Neutron, that can be an interesting card to keep, but you really need to prioritize the one drops, and once you have a one drop, then you can start thinking, what else will I get? I had a pretty decent run with this deck, not on very high MMR though, I was just playing on NA, which I hadn't played for a while, but I went 9 wins and 5 losses with the deck, so it's definitely still a viable way to play Hearthstone, and this is what it looks like in action. Like, luck has such, an, such a huge effect on an individual game, in this game. And like you can you can be in the world championship and you can do wrong decisions and still win. Like uh, that that's that's I think that's pretty funny sometimes. Alright, quest line demon hunter. Well, let's see what happens. Time to poach. Let's go. I have mostly played it with my kids. They sometimes want to play with me. But not really doing a lot of solo stuff. Wow. Uh, I use more I use brand account on YouTube and brand accounts can't get YouTube drops, so I never get any YouTube drops. I could if I switched accounts, but Sometimes it's really hard to log back into your brand account if you log out of it, so I really can't take the chance. Paveling book. Yeah. That was quite something. 
Yeah, so obviously card games work like that. And Hearthstone rather amplifies than de-amplifies those effects. Alright, we need a terror coil. Let's see. Now we have a named shot. That can go twice. But it's still not enough, maybe. Are you playing zero build? No, I don't even know what that means. Ah, they want the 50-50. That's sad. That is sad indeed. I think we still need to get rid of the Arcanist there. They don't have that spell damage hanging around. This is probably a Trog and Click Clocker and Hero Power. No, clock, Trog, Click Clocker, Aimed Shot play. I can do Aimed Shot next turn. This is Trog. But this casts twice. I can't have cast twice and cast twice. So actually, yeah, I need to do the aim shot now. So this is Trog, Click Clocker, Aim shot to the dome, Weapon to the dome. And then I will have 6 damage from the hero power. I can do Terror Coil hero power. But thing is, they don't have minions for the collateral damage. So there are definitely some issues with collateral damage in this meta. Because the meta is like, you don't play minions. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I probably would play that, indeed. Yeah, I never, never truly fancied building anyway. Life steal was unfortunate. Do they have more where that came from? That one is irrelevant, but six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, that looks very lethal to me. Let's go! Weehee! Turn 6 lethal against the... against the quest demon hunter. May need to go in the poacher here. Assuming ramp druid, but who knows? Oh well, now we're just playing the trog. Okay. Then mount on the trog. Right. They kept everything, so they should have at least Goth. I thought they might have Wild Growth, but apparently no Wild Growth. Okay. I think I want the Wild Seed now. Because it might take a while before the Wild Seed comes up. So that I can optimize the damage I do. We'll keep the board. Alright, so one more turn and they have Gales. 
All it takes is love, care, and death. Right now, they have pretty much everything possible available for next turn. Lots of summoning cards, but not a lot of uh, anything else. Let's stretch a bit. What about double piercing shot? It can also be useful next turn. We're playing this. Two hero power. The question is everything face or kill the seedsman? I think at this point it's everything face now that we have the taunt up. We have the double piercing shot. That's available next turn. The droid might not be able to clear. Because there's quite a lot of held on the board. Alright. Let's go. The hunt again. Yeah, blood. Blood is just... It's just ouch. It, it cannot be defeated with Acrodex. My dreads to be a skit. So has Slither Spear be a skit for next turn? It used to be a skit here, of course, because we want we need to get as much damage in as we can. Now the Terror Coil effect is active, so we can play the Terror Coil. And we need to keep hitting face. But I don't think there's any chance to beat Blood. I do not think it's possible. Can we outdo a blood boil? We'll find out soon enough, I suppose. Let's hope they don't have it, but we'll see. It doesn't actually kill these minions yet, but it does heal them over two turns. That's pretty good, because that's a bit of a sign of a desperation. So... But you can't discover a blood boil from that. Pick me, pick me. Because it's only up to trees, three mana. So they don't have blood boil available. That is a piece of good news. Now they messed that up a little bit as well. And it, it appears that. We actually won blood. Warlock. Well, that is surprising. I guess it's imps. Can I beat imps? Maybe. Going second. Going second is bad. It's going to be more difficult to beat imps when I'm going second. We'll see, maybe it's not Imps. Yeah, Imp and Curse Imp Lock. I mean, if you checked my video about the top 15 decks in the game, Imp Warlocks are definitely still there. No. That. You don't have the. Well. It's what it is. We need more stuff on the board anyway. 
They might still run the AoE spell. Oh, that's a big game. I can fight for this board. I can actually fight for this board, right? By doing this. Now I have a double Naga's Pride. So I'm summoning four 3-3 three, three minions next turn. And I still have enough power to kill this 5-5. Five, five. Well, they're also summoning a bunch of stuff. Sad times. And they will get the library back up. I can bob and it's that one down. Which will then allow me to trade one of these. And then I will have four 3-3 three, three minions against their two. But they will have more than that. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh my goodness. I just couldn't keep up. How could I? As long as they can find their farm, then that's going to be it. It's going to be too much. Is there a way for me to switch to a phase plan here? I think I will have to switch and try to switch to a phase plan. I can't fight for the board anymore. It simply is not possible. But I can push 10 to phase here. Our farm probably wins the game for them still. Do they have their farm now? They actually don't have a farm. Would you look at that? They actually didn't have a farm. I'm going to win. Quick shot hero power next turn is a win. Hi Barrett. Yeah, this is a this is a budget. Budget face hunter. And it's doing pretty well. Life steal, but it's too late. Double life steal. Yikes. That was close. Ooh. But still, not bad. Piercing shot played a key role here. Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, YouTube members and Twitch subscribers who make all of these videos possible.